To get the files for the Gumby framework, you'll need to visit GumbyFramework.com. Once you're here, you can take a look at the features and the documentation. But when you're ready to get the files, simply click the Customize button. And let's go. We'll take you to where you can choose the CSS that you would like included in your package, the JavaScript. You can set the grid dimensions, the number of columns, the max width, the gutter, the typography. You can set your basic color scheme, border radius, default padding, and then your responsive breakpoints. So once you've got this set the way that you want, simply click the download Gumby. So here I have extracted the files. I'm just going to come in here and I only want these files here. Um, if you want, I suggest that you actually open up the demo.html and the ue.html. Um, here you'll be able to pick elements off of the demonstration files. And you can see all of the UE elements and as you can see the grid that I've generated. Um, there's 940 pixels in width. As you can see if I collapse this Okay, so this, this is the grid that we're going to be working with. I'll close those out, and we don't need this open anymore. Okay, so from our master, I'm only going to take the files inside of the folders. I don't need any of the other things in here for this tutorial. So I'm going to come inside of the themes directory, and I'm going to create a name for our responsive theme. Okay, so I'll just call it Gumby WordPress. <clears throat> now paste our files inside of here.